All right. First and foremost, giving all praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekaha Kodash. All right. And double honors to the elders and apostles, a great millstone from whom I learned from and continuously do. Okay. And a healthy shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. All right. You know, in truth and sincerity. I'm out here today with the family. Of course, the, you know, the two, the two children acting a fool. <laughs> but that happens. But, uh, you know, we're just, we're just out here and, uh, you know, enjoying this, this beautiful weather and what Yahweh Shem Shah has created, you know, for us. It's just the foundation of the earth, okay? So I'm going to read this. This is uh, Sirach 39, verse 1. But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out wisdom all of the ancient and be occupied in prophecy in prophecies okay occupied in prophecies all right so you know i was uh i was watching uh the video that yashawaba did today about and it, see it was on my spirit too about uh christianity about how they uh basically just make shit up <laughs> You know, they straight up just, they just make, they just make it up, man, as they go. Okay. Take, take for instance, see that rock? See that rock over there? The scripture says a wise man built his foundation upon a rock. Okay. Salakia. Let me get that. No, I don't have any, I don't have any service. So yeah, a wise man built his foundation upon a rock. Okay. And then what happens? Pan over here. Rivers of living water flow, will flow out of your belly. You see, I'm just using this as an example because this is what this is what we're doing is we're building our foundation upon a rock. You know, unlike Christianity, which is really an offshoot of uh, the Catholic Church and all the abominations the Catholic Church does. I mean, hey, <laughs> I could talk till I'm blue in the face. Okay, so. I'm going to grab this because this is what's happening. Wisdom of Solomon 5 and verse 2. When they see it, see, because we're standing upon our feet. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. So far beyond all they look for. Okay. See, they weren't looking for this, but now they're, make, they're making themselves, they're making uh, fools of themselves, you know, trying to uh, go back over the scriptures. Excuse me. Would you go tell him to stop doing that? Okay. Sorry. Salakia. All right. Yeah. So again, wisdom of Solomon. Five of verse two. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. And see, that's uh, uh, optimally. That's what the, that's what's happening. Okay. They're uh, they're afraid of, of uh, the building of the, the temple of David, man. Okay. They're afraid of, of, uh, of what is the inevitable that the children of Israel are waking up and Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is going to save his people. Okay? That's what they're afraid of. So they're, they're, they're basically making fools of themselves and, uh, and hardly, you know, won't bring out any scriptures, man. They just talk, 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 talk. You know, and the scripture said, if any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of, uh, of uh, the Most High. Okay? If any man minister, let him do it as the ability of the Most High give it. Okay? This is Matthew 24, verse 13. 14. And the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world. This is in red letters, right? For a witness unto all nations, then shall the end come. Okay? Now, has Christianity been taught? Christianity has been taught for uh, hundreds of years. Okay? It's been preached to the four corners of the earth. But the end is not yet, man, because it's a false doctrine. Okay? It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a false teaching. You know, they, they never, they never really go into, uh, they never really go into the children of Israel. They always just say, uh, Christians. Okay. And there were, there were Christians first in Antioch and they were also called nigger. Okay. Or niger. All right. You know, so I'm gonna read this again. Matthew 24 verse 14. And the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for all witness witnesses unto all nations. 
and then the end shall come. Then the end shall come. Okay? All right? So what's happening right now is, is the angels are holding back the four winds. Okay? They're holding back the four winds. This is Revelation 7 and verse 1. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding back the four winds of the earth. Okay? And, th and those winds is going to be that destroying wind. The, you know, uh, ultimately, you have Hashem Yahweh Shah. But the, uh, but, the, but the missiles are going to come. They're going to hit perfectly. People people are going to be, uh, 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 fear, uh, what, what, what's that scripture say? Oh, the, their hearts failing them for fear. You see? It's, this is going to happen, man. You know, uh, so they're holding back these four winds until the elect is sealed. Okay? I'm going to read this from the top. Revelation 7 and verse 1. After these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth holding the four winds of the earth uh, that the wind shall not blow on the earth nor the sea nor on any tree okay so you uh, so what you you know if this is not the sea but what you're looking at you know is a uh, you know basically a stream okay and it's beautiful and it's beautiful uh, to get out in nature and really you know uh, see uh, what your high about Shah has created for us you know but uh you know, Yahweh right desire that we were there uh, creating it with them. You know, the first fruits, okay? Since before the foundations of the earth. All right? Salakia. Okay. Let's get... Oh, yeah, Numbers 14, verse 18, okay? The Lord Yahweh... The Lord Yahweh is long suffering, okay? Hey, don't get in that water, okay? okay. Might be some might be a snake day in that grass. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he's long suffering, man. And patient. So we're supposed to we're you know, we're supposed to wait upon him. Okay? As the scripture said. All right, and move it on, you know. Uh I guess I'll do a bit of a walk and talk here also. Um, it's, uh, you know, I was speaking on how, you know, really, truly beautiful, uh, these scriptures are and how they, uh, they do comfort us. Okay. And, um, you know, what, uh, what Yahabashim Yahshai has made, you saw that, you know, that little babbling brook and, you know, it's out here. It's a little chilly out here, but you know, whatever, it's all good. You know, it's all good. But, uh, when it comes down to it, we are still here in our captivity, man. OK, and they refuse to let us go. You know, they totally refuse to let us go. And uh, by the way, these are the same. These are the same Christians. The, uh, these this Christianity, you know, they brought they said they brought the Bible to us. But see, we already had uh, 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 unspoken or not an unspoken law, but a, a spoken law. OK, and we knew what we were supposed to do a long time before they got their hands, you know, on our manual. All right. So this is uh, Zechariah 11 and verse five whose oppressors slay them and hold themselves not guilty, okay? And this happens, I mean, how many times has this happened, you know? It, uh, it, 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 ultimately, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is the one that's pulling all the strings, you know? This is, uh, this is his movie, okay? But th this is what they do, uh, whose oppressors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And they that sell them say, blessed be Yahweh. For I am rich, you see, because they do that and their own shepherds pity them not. OK, and their own shepherds, they pity them not, man. You know, this, and this is this is not our rest, man. This is not our rest. OK, and that's what they're doing right now is they're telling you, you know, hey, uh, you uh, you guys uh, take the, uh, you know, take that jab. Here we go again. All right. Micah two and verse ten. Arise ye and depart, for this is not our rest. Why is this happening? Okay, well, yeah, anyway, I'll just, I'll just do it like this. Uh, this could, uh, arise ye and depart, because this is not our rest, man. This is not our rest, and two-thirds of our own people, you know, think they're at rest. They think that, this, uh, that everything's going to continue like it is, or, or it's going to go back to normal. No, 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 no. No, Esau, Edom is the devil the Bible speaks of, man. Okay, it's not going to go back. 
it's not going to go back uh, to normal or how you like it, man. OK, it's going to get worse. All right. And uh, Jacob's trouble, Jacob's trouble is coming soon. You know, if we're not already in the, you know, in the beginning stages of it. OK, so ooh, it is cold out here, but it's beautiful. All right. All right. Yeah. Back at it again, man. I didn't have any uh, didn't have any service. So I couldn't go on. But <clears throat> uh, the scripture won't stop. It won't stop till you drop. All right. So I was going into. About, uh, you know, our captivity and how we're still here. And how they saw, uh, you know, they sold us. Uh, and expected us, you know, just to to go along with it forever. And, uh, you know, sort of like they never uh, <laughs> they were never going to get punished or paid back for this, man. All right. So this is Baruch three and verse eight. They're going to get punished and paid back for this. There's a recompense for everything, everything you do. It's a recompense for it, man. OK, uh, Baruch three and verse eight. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. You see where they have scattered us for a reproach and a curse and to be subject to payments. OK, and to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our father, which departed from the Lord, our power. OK, so, yeah, they had, uh, departed from the Lord, uh, our power. All right. Well, I'm, I'm about done anyhow. OK, this is Matthew 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, OK, not everybody. See, Christianity says uh, they say this just the Christians will be saved, just the Christians. All right. And, uh, you know, the video the elder did, uh, he uh, he went all the way in <laughs> like he always does. But he went into uh, uh, the rapture. Right. Which you're not going to find that anywhere in the scriptures. And especially, you know, how they explain it. It's very strange. OK, it's very strange. Like I said, they just make things up. So uh, this is Matthew 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. All right. And that wouldn't be everybody. You all right? You good? OK, that's not that's definitely not everybody. All right. And there's a there's a multitude of scriptures that say so. All right. So let's go back. Let's go back. Yep. Let me read this one more time. And I'll be finished. All right. This is uh, Zechariah 11 and verse five. Whose oppressors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And they that sell them say, blessed be the Lord, Yahweh, for I am rich. And their own shepherds pity them not. Okay. So giving all praise to Yahweh Baha Shimi Hawashai, Baha Shimra Kakwadash. All right. Shalom. Wa Ababa Ball.